Assalamu alaikum everyone I hope all of you are doing so well and happy so welcome back to my kitchen today I'll share the recipe of boneless chicken korma with all of you guys so keep watching uh, let's have a look on ingredients first chicken boneless uh, 1 kg we have so make sure it's in cube size and a yogurt 3 by 4 cup 3 quarter cup and 3 onions I cut them medium size 3 onions and then we have three tomatoes, uh, ginger one inch and garlic one full and one chicken stock cube. And then we have spices, cumin and coriander powder mix one tablespoon. It gives so good uh, fragrance to your korma. And we have red chili powder, red chili crushed, both one one teaspoon. Each one teaspoon. Then we have black pepper one teaspoon. And the next one is turmeric powder, one tablespoon. It gives a very nice color to your korma. And garam masala powder, one teaspoon. And then we have salt, one tablespoon or salt to taste as you like. Now, uh, if you wanna take screenshot, you can. These all are the ingredients we use to make korma. So first step is uh, add three tablespoons of vinegar in the chicken. And then uh, after 10 minutes, wash it uh, with the water. It will uh, remove all the impurities and smell from the chicken. And now take a pan and add one cup of oil, one cup of oil, cooking oil, corn oil, olive oil, mustard oil. Every um, you can use any oil you like or you use or you have. So um, add the onions uh, in it and uh, just fry them uh, till they get become transparent. Now you can see uh, the onions are transparent and now add the tomatoes, garlic and uh, ginger in it and now fry them for about 5 minutes. We just have to uh, wait until it be uh, the onion becomes a little bit uh, golden or after 5 minutes separate them uh, and blend it in a chopper or blender or whatever you have uh, and make a thick paste of uh, garlic, ginger, onion and tomatoes look at this i'm blending in the juicer now in the same oil add the chicken boneless chicken cubes in the same oil in which we fried our onion onions tomatoes and ginger garlic uh, it will enhance the taste now you can see our onion uh, tomato paste is ready consistency should be like this a thick paste now you can see chicken can change its color now we have to um, add the thick paste we made onion and tomatoes paste now you don't have to wait, uh, just mix it and add the spices, the turmeric 1 tablespoon and the 1 1 teaspoon chili powder and crushed and coriander cumin powder 1 tablespoon and salt and just mix them and also uh, our chicken stock cube and mix it well. Now what you have uh, just cover it on a low flame for 10 to 12 minutes. Now after 10 minutes uh, you can see uh, oil separates from the masala and now you have to add yogurt 3 by 4 cup uh, 3 quarter cup yogurt and mix it well mix mix and mix now you have to turn on the flame um, between medium to high and just cook it for 5 minutes on um, medium to high flame now you can see our masala is uh, becoming thick and uh, and it is turning out to be a very delicious dish so now chicken is fully tender and you can see oil is fully separated from the korma but still we have to um, cook about uh, five minutes on the low flame and now on the low flame add garam masala one table one teaspoon and one teaspoon black pepper make sure you have to add the uh, black pepper on low flame otherwise it uh, the color of your korma becomes blackish or dark which now um, add fresh green coriander and uh, green chilies cut them half and uh, garnishing it with the green chilies and coriander it will give uh, the beauty to your korma and also the smell and taste now you can see how delicious your korma is looking so now if you like the video and recipe, uh, 
give thumbs up like share and comment and also subscribe the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel at julian cutting ginger too it will give a very nice uh, taste and uh, fragrance to your korma now korma is ready you can eat it uh, dish out it and uh, serve and eat and enjoy so I uh, serve uh, this korma with uh, naan. You can serve it with uh, rice, roti, naan, whatever you have and whatever you like. So now stay tuned for more interesting and yummy videos. So take care and Allah Hafiz.